Hey Naturalistas, it's Samantha Carey Johnson, host of Organic Living. I'm at Ryan Foster Hair Salon, learning all things natural hair. I have struggled with my natural hair texture my entire life. I have super thick hair, gorgeous, I love it, super thankful, but it's difficult. I've done Brazilian blowouts, relaxers, grown that out, and now I'm back to my natural hair, but I also don't have a natural curl pattern until I found Anika Lee Thompson, owner of Ryan Foster Hair Salon. Anika has saved my life, has <laughs> saved my hair. So Anika, what are you doing here? Right now, I am just blowing my client out and soaking her hair with Her my... hair looks so gorgeous. Thank you so much. We used SAS, it's our straightener and with the dime size of product, we've been able to blow out her natural curl pattern to a completely straight look, and she'll be able to go back to her natural curl pattern. Oh, wow, so SAS is a, is a product that you developed? Absolutely, absolutely. We developed, we started making it in 2006, and in 2014, we got manufacturing, and we're ready. Congratulations, I'm so Thank excited so to be much. in the SAS world <laughs> of, a, of Anika Lee Thompson. What will she be doing with her hair after this? So this is something that for maintenance, she'll just be wrapping. It'll give it a lot of body. What I like the most about SAS is it doesn't leave the hair weighty. So when you go to wrap it, your natural oils are just the oil that is gonna tame your hair versus you having something really heavy and it looking cat licky at the end yes. and it has no body and you wanna recurl it. Right. Which leads to all the damage. Because and then you're it looks to make crazy it look and perfect. gross and disgusting. Absolutely. Yes, I know all about that. <laughs> and in between, since it's summertime and Shai still has her natural curl pattern, she'll use our product Tendril, which is part of our texture diversity system, and she'll be able to wear her hair curly. Yeah, that's amazing. So I would love to sit down with you and talk more about your texture diversity system. Yeah. And so we can learn all more about transitioning our natural hair from curly to straight. Absolutely. So Anika, tell me about your texture diversity system. So we make a three-piece system that allows you to go back and forth between your naturally curly textures and your completely straight looks without losing your curl pattern, which is the most important part about being a natural girl. Absolutely. Now what are the do's and don'ts of natural hair? So every curl needs some type of manipulation, no matter what it is. You know, there's this whole theory around wash and go, and every curl is not created equal. So we're just really encouraging people to start actually setting their hair and doing something with it instead of just kind of letting it be all over the place. That's one, and that'll help you really maintain the style so that you're not doing too much manipulation every day. And for heat, you want to just make sure that you're not doing too much heat. You know, choose lifestyle hairdos. That's like the main part. And stop watching YouTubes for all the things that you think that you can <laughs> do your YouTube hair. Yeah. Too much, too much product. You know, people are like, oversaturating themselves with product. There's right. so many things out here. Nobody's reading labels anymore. Nobody's thinking about what you're putting on your body and how it really affects you on the inside. Absolutely. You know? That's what organic living is all Absolutely. about. Absolutely. So going back to the texture diversity system, um, it is sodium well, light so free? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> there's no soap in our products. We actually make, um, we make the products that actually make your hair set. You know, we, we don't do the shampoo and the conditioner just yet. Eventually, we will grow into that. But right now, we do just ask people that they use a sodium laurel sulfate-free shampoo. It's the salt in the shampoo that actually breaks down the texture, gotcha. makes it feel really strippy. So we want you to start off with something lighter. And not to over condition. Conditioner is wax and it's very heavy. So when you're turning around and trying to style your hair, especially when you're doing it straight, you got all the smoke blowing off your hair, it's weedy, looks cat licky. And I thought co washing was a good thing. Oh gosh. But so what so what is co washing? So my theory around co washing is that it is like shampooing your hair with fabric softener. Shampooing your hair with fabric softener, ladies. So if you're co-washing and that's basically shampooing your hair with fabric softener, which is not a good thing, which means that you're basically not getting your hair clean. Absolutely. Right. It's not clean. <laughs> it's not clean. It's not clean. It might feel soft, but it's not clean. Right. Conditioner is just a wax. So wax allows your hands to slip through your hair. It makes the hair feel really amazing, you know, but at the end of the day, what's damaged is damaged or what needs to be fixed still needs to be fixed. It's just like a filler for the moment. So if you really want to make sure that you're taking care of your hair, you want to choose better styling, you know, practices. You want to choose less products so that you're not pulling and ripping through your hair and that your hair doesn't need so much manipulation all the time. 
Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Anika. Thank you. And thank you for everyone at Ryan Foster Hair Salon who gave us some education today. Thank you for watching My New Philly, where something's always new and everything's always filling. Bye. Bye.